Hello YouTube, Tim here, and I've got an unboxing of a product and a, an analysis of the uh, an older product. Right here we've got the AWS AC100 digital scale. It measures up to 100 grams in increments of one hundredths of a gram. It comes with a backlit LED display, only has three buttons, a little protective cover which is also the tray, which is, those are nice. You can just uh, flip it, pull it off, and then flip it and use it to keep the metal clean. Stainless steel, hey, and a 10-year warranty, right? Because I'm sure I'll be using this same uh, $11 scale in 10 years. But anyway, it's also, I'd like to note, a genuine product, because I have no idea what it would it be other than that. The best part, it comes with its own batteries. So let's go ahead and open it and see if we can get it up and running. Yeah, this just came in Amazon in about a day. Very quick. I'm very satisfied with the delivery speed. I'll put a link to that on my blog. You can see. And here is the scale. All right, super. So just like we were saying, the case is also a measuring tray. So if you're measuring a powder, you could put it in there. This isn't specifically a culinary scale, but it would be good for that. You know, if you're going to be precise when you're baking, if a recipe calls for 1.7 grams of baking powder or some such amount, you want to be really precise because if you do 2 or 3 grams, you're off by 100% perhaps. So at any rate, we don't need this for what we're going to do because if you'll remember, these lovely, lovely uh, arrowheads from Mr. Rick Page. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this turned on and ready to go. Okay, hit the power button, nothing happens. So let's see if the batteries are there. They said they're included. So if they're not, that'll be a surprise. I may have to go and get some. Just so I don't compress the scale and damage it while I'm opening it up, let's put the lid back on. I see. They've done the very common thing of inserting a little plastic protector. Okay, so let's remove that. I only see one there that breaks the circuit, and now we should have an operational scale. There you go. It also turns itself off after 60 seconds of uh, inactivity. Here we go. All right. Zeroed out. There is a way to change units. I'm going to leave it in grams because, well, heck, it works. And if we need to adjust it or convert it, this is precise enough that we'll be able to. Let's start off with separating out the various kinds of arrowhead that we have here. Now, this is pre-sharpening. Remember that you can sharpen these, and that will dramatically change their weight. You know, in terms of hundredths of a gram, you're going to see some difference there. Okay. So, of the ones that Mr. Page has on eBay, I believe these are the only four that are currently for sale. This one, he's planning on scaling down to an slightly more manageable size and then putting it up for sale and this what appears to be a fishing head thanks to a commenter on YouTube for alerting me to that fact uh, this is also not available but let's go ahead and weigh them all first of all starting with the tiniest 6.76 grams let's go weigh another of its kind and see how much it varies Six point six six grams, a tenth of a gram off. Great. Next, let's move to these. Nine point one four one five grams. And nine point one eight grams. Those are very close. Now let's try. These slightly larger ones, 11.63 grams. Eleven point eight five grams. Now these, which I didn't sort out, 
13.17 grams. Thirteen point four 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 three four four grams. It's right on the margin. And the final one, which you can you may be able to find for sale, fifteen point five six grams. And fifteen point three nine grams. So, so far, this is the very heaviest at 15.56 grams. This doesn't feel quite as heavy, but it may be. Appearances can be deceiving. Nope, I'm right. 11.8 11 .8 grams. And this one felt extremely light. 6.3334 grams. Wow, great. So there you have it. There's the range. I'm going to put these in the notes, exactly what they weighed. I'll put the averages there. And um, I'm actually going to post all of that on my blog, which is goldenhordebows.blogspot.com. You can just search Golden Horde Bows on Google or Bing, and it should be amongst the top search results. Also, my Etsy store. But you can also find the link up in the... When you click on my name, you go to my channel, my YouTube channel, and in the bottom right-hand corner of that, there's a link to both to the Etsy shop, to the blog, to my Flickr albums, and all that cool stuff. So those are always good. You can also join us, because I'll be putting a link on the Google Plus PVC Archery and Crafting Community. Since this is something that's related to archery, we have a special section in the forum just for things like this. Come on and join us. It would be fun. Well, this has been interesting. I'm very happy to know exactly what these weigh now. So I can actually, uh, well, have an idea of what an arrow weighs. Thank you for watching very much, and yeah. see how it uh, turns itself off. Very cool. So I'm happy with the scale. Very happy with how the arrowheads are looking. And thank you for joining us.